Hello my beautiful friends, today I will share with you what I eat on a vegetarian day. A few times a week I eat vegetarian, so today I will show you what that looks like from breakfast to lunch, snacks and dinner. So let's get started! Today I'm gonna make one of my favorite breakfasts and that's an acai bowl. So what I do is I buy frozen acai and I get this at Whole Foods but you can get it at any health food stores usually. And I'm just gonna defreeze this uh, frozen acai first. If I'm pressed for time, what I do is I get some hot water into a bowl and then I put my frozen acai into another bowl and put that bowl on top of the second bowl that has hot water in it. So this usually takes maybe five to 10 minutes to quickly defreeze the acai the frozen acai. Five, 10 minutes later, I'm just gonna check the packets and as you can see, it's already all melted. At this point, I can go ahead and start making my acai bowls. So I'm gonna transfer the frozen acai into the blender. As you can see, it's quite a dirty work, so you gotta be careful there. So I'm gonna transfer that first, and I'm using three of them, three packets for Alex and I. And then I'm gonna use about two or three bananas. Today my bananas are quite small, so I'm gonna use three. And then I'm gonna add some almond milk, and this is really the secret ingredient to blend and mix everything really well together. Okay, so I'm just looking at it and I can see the consistency looks right. And then transfer the acai into bowls. Mmm, it looks so good. I cannot wait to eat this. All right, so the best part, of course, for a side bowl is to be creative and decorate it with some fun design. So first I'm gonna lay out some sliced strawberries. Then I'm gonna add some blueberries. I'm gonna add some chia seeds, which are so good for you, full of protein and full of iron. Then I'm gonna slice some bananas and also add that as decoration on top and coconut flakes. They're not only pretty, but they're full of healthy fats. So this breakfast is not only beautiful aesthetically, but it's also full of protein, vitamins, and minerals, and it's really, really good for you. All right, as you guys know, when I eat, I put my phone away, and now I've even started putting my phone on airplane mode. So if I get any notifications, I don't get tempted and distracted to grab my phone. Mmm, this is so good. Alex loves it too. <laughs> At about 11 a.m. I usually have some tea, so this is once I get to the office. So today I'm gonna be making this mountain tea and I got this at a Greek store. So I'm just gonna add a little bit to a cup or mug and then I'll just add some hot water and let it steep for a few minutes, you know, anywhere from three to five minutes. And then usually I'll just get some work done and sip on my tea. So for today's lunch, I'm making some veggie wraps. I'm gonna slice some green peppers and some cucumbers. I'm gonna call this a very green wrap because as you will see, everything that's in it is quite green. Then I'm gonna slice an avocado. So I slice everything really thinly because I want it to be quite fine and um, not very bulky inside of the wrap. As you will see, I'm gonna be using tacos to wrap everything. Next, I'm just gonna put a pan and I'm gonna warm up the pan because I'm gonna warm up every single one of my taco wraps and these are completely gluten-free. They're made out of organic corn and I'm just gonna heat this up and then put the next one. <laughs> In the meantime, I'm gonna use some hummus and this is great, again, full of protein, such a great addition and a great way to use something creamy instead of mayonnaise. Then I'm gonna add um, some avocado that I already sliced, I'm gonna add some cucumbers, I'm gonna add some green peppers, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of alpha alpha sprouts, which again are so good for you, very healthy and delicious. And then the best part also is cilantro that just adds a really nice flavor to this wrap. And I'm gonna make a few for myself and then a few for Alex. And once I'm done, I'm gonna store everything in a lunch bag that I'll take with me to work. 
and time to enjoy my lunch now <laughs> it's so delicious it stores really well even if you don't put it in the fridge for a few hours so it makes for a great lunch that you can take with you to work Now at about 4 p.m. I get hungry again and I feel like I need a bit of a recharge and some kind of a snack. So what I'm gonna have is a protein shake, which is really great, especially if I'm eating a vegetarian diet that day. So I wanna make sure that I get enough protein in my diet. And I'm using this really great protein shake from Sun Warrior and I'm gonna mix it with some almond milk. So first I add almond milk to like a mixer cup. Then I'm gonna add a scoop of protein shake and then close the lid and shake it really, really well. So it all blends nicely together. And for a vegan protein shake, I would say it tastes quite nice. All right, it's dinner time. And today I'm gonna make my favorite mushroom dish. So I'm gonna be using wild mushrooms. I'm gonna soak them in hot water. I'm gonna use several mushrooms, but wild mushrooms are just one type that I'll be using. So, oh, this smells so nice. If you like the smell of wild mushrooms, please make sure to leave me a comment because I absolutely love it so much. And then I'm also gonna make sweet potato mash. So I'm gonna start with taking a few sweet potatoes, I already washed them, and just peel them. And then I'm gonna boil some water in a pan, and then I'm going to slice the sweet potatoes into big chunks. So it doesn't need to be small slices, really big chunks are fine. In the meantime, I have some shiitake mushrooms as well that I'm gonna wipe with a cloth just to clean them up because I never wash my mushrooms with water because they get too saggy or too soggy. <laughs> saggy and soggy. So yeah, one by one, I just wipe them to make sure the dirt is off or anything else that could be there. And then I'm gonna just start slicing them as well. And then I'm gonna slice my wild mushrooms as well and add everything together. Now the water is boiling, I'm gonna add my sweet potatoes to this boiling water. I'm also gonna season it with some sea salt and wait for everything to come to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, I'm just gonna reduce the heat and cover it with a lid and just wait for it to cook. This usually takes about 15 to 20 minutes and I just go in with my fork every, you know, five to eight minutes just to check and see if they're cooking well. Now on another pan, I am gonna be frying my mushrooms. So I just added some olive oil. I'm gonna add my shiitake mushrooms first. I'm also gonna add a little bit of avocado oil because it's really great if you're um, frying something on medium or high heat. Then I'm gonna add some herbs and some sea salt and I'm adding some thyme. In case you're wondering what herb it is, it's thyme, and it goes really, really well with mushrooms. And then I'm gonna eventually add my wild mushrooms to the mix as well, and mix it all nicely together. And I usually am very tempted to try the dish as I'm cooking, but make sure not to do that because you burn your tongue. Every time I do this, I promise myself I won't do it again and then I keep doing it. All right, my sweet potatoes are ready. I'm just gonna drain the hot water from the pan and then take a fork and then I'm just gonna start mashing the potatoes right there in my pot. Because they're soft, this is a very easy process and just takes a few minutes. I'm gonna season it with some salt. And here's where you can add some um, grass-fed butter. If you eat butter, you can add olive oil, coconut oil, whatever it is that you eat, you can add it just to make sure it's more creamy. In the meantime, I'm also going to steam some green beans. So I'm just using the steamer attachment and just adding the green beans on top. And this usually takes a few minutes for the green beans to steam. And dinner is ready. We also have some snacks. Um, we have cashews, again, for additional protein because cashews are full of protein. And then we have this um, dolmadis that we got at a Greek store as well. And before we start eating, Alex and I just take a little moment to be mindful and say a little gratefulness prayer for what we have on our table. 
Okay, now we can start eating. <laughs> what I've also been trying to do lately is slow down what I'm eating because I tend to rush through my meals and I just mindfully slow myself down, chew my food more slow and make sure to also not drink with my food. I think that's very important to just when you're eating, just eat the food and drink water before, like half an hour before or after the meal. dessert time today i'm gonna make one of my favorite recent desserts and this is called roasted plums i'm gonna start with just slicing the plums and decoring them and i'm using this cute little tool that is perfect for decoring them so i'm gonna do this for every single plum just remove the seed and create a little bit of space that i can use for putting raspberries inside now i'm gonna add raspberries on top of the plums and drizzle everything with delicious organic maple syrup from canada This is already so pretty. Okay, now I'm gonna put everything in the oven and bake it for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, the plums are ready. It smells absolutely divine. So I'm just gonna pull them out of the oven. Just look at that. Mm. Once I put everything on a plate, I just sprinkle it with some coconut flakes. It adds a really nice touch and it's much healthier than sugar or anything else you would add. So it's evening time, we took some break after dinner and now we're ready to enjoy our dessert. We don't have dessert every single day, but I thought today for this video I'll make something special to share with you guys. Time to dive into this beauty. Mmm, guys, this is so good, you just have to try this. <laughs> you want some? <laughs> <laughs> Look at Alex's expression. He cannot believe a fruit dessert that has no sugar can be so delicious. All right, guys, that's all for today. If you'd like to see more of what I eat in a day, make sure to like this video and leave me a comment. Love you. Bye.